Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this session, we are going to see the specimen of stomach. So here we have the stomach, you know the basic anatomy. It has got two ends, that is a cardiac end and pyloric end. Then there are the two borders, right border and the left border. So right border is known as, known as the lesser curvature and the left border is known as the greater curvature. And two surfaces, antero superior surface and antero posto inferior surface. Okay, so when you describe an organ, you know, the first thing what we have to do is you have to hold the structure in anatomical position. So here I am going to tell you how we can hold the stomach in anatomical position. As I told you earlier, it has got two ends are there, one end is here, another end is here. Okay, to hold the structure in anatomical position, first we have to identify the two ends. Okay, identify or distinguishes the pyloric end and the cardiac end. Okay, if we feel both the ends together, you can see at one end you can see there is a solid structure okay so that solid structure is the pyloric sphincter pyloric sphincter you know the pyloric sphincter is present at the pyloric end of the stomach so now we have identified that this is the pyloric end of the stomach and this is the cardiac end of the stomach then i told you two borders are there there is a larger border that is known as the greater curvature and this small border is the lesser curvature so now you know this is the cardiac end of the stomach and this is the pyloric end and here we have the uh, lesser curvature and this is the greater curvature so now you hold the structure like this in anatomical position okay now so here is the cardiac end and this is the pyloric end here again we have the lesser curvature and we have the greater curvature. So at the lesser curvature, you know what structure is attached. The structure attached is the lesser omentum, lesser omentum. The peritoneal reflection from the liver, porta hepatis of the liver to the greater lesser curvature is known as the lesser omentum. Okay. And the lesser omentum is not only attached to the lesser curvature, but also to the proximal first part of the duodenum. Proximal part of the first part of duodenum. That is why the lesser omentum is the hepatogastric and hepatoduodenal. Okay, the upper part is known as a hepatogastric ligament and the lower part is a hepatodiodenal ligament. Okay, in addition to that one, the, along the lesser curvature, we have the right gastric artery and left gastric artery. It's right gastric artery and the left gastric artery, anastomosis along the or at the lesser curvature. So, you know the right gastric artery, it's a branch of the common hepatic artery and the left gastric artery is a branch of celiac trunk. These two arteries get anastomosis along the lesser curvature or at the lesser curvature within the lesser omentum. Then this is the greater curvature, it attach, gives attachment to the greater omentum, you know the greater omentum. So, greater omentum, again the uppermost part of the greater omentum is known as the gastrophrenic ligament because here we have the diaphragm the ligament is the gastrophrenic ligament and here we have the gastrosplenic ligament gastro here we get the spleen here so here this is a gastrosplenic ligament splenic ligament okay let us see the parts of the stomach okay so here i already told you two ends are there okay and the part of the cardiac orifice this is the cardiac orifice and here comes the pyloric orifice okay the part of the stomach that extend beyond the level of cardiac orifice this is known as the fundus of stomach you know the fundus of stomach and this from here to here we have the body of the stomach and the terminal part is known as the pyloric canal or the pylorus of the stomach okay here we have the fundus here here comes the body and here comes the pylorus of stomach okay normally the fundus of stomach it fills with the uh, I mean uh, the gas normally fills with the gas and this remember one point this fundus of stomach lies at the left fifth intercostal space left fifth intercostal space remember there is a space area on the surface of the body there we can make out and make an area that is called trobe space trobe space and this fundus of stomach lies deep to the trobe space trobe space okay again the pain of the cardiac pain of the gastric pain sometimes mimic the angina because the pain of the fundus of stomach felt at the left fifth intercostal space that is why sometimes this pain of this gastric pain imitates or mimics the angina okay so here we have the fundus and remember the trobe space the detailed anatomy of the stomach we have i have already uploaded if you did not watch the video please go and watch the video link is there 
then here we have the body below the fundus we have the body of the stomach okay and one more thing you should remember here we have the lesser curvature lesser curvature there is something called incisura angularis incisura angularis incisura angularis is the a place is a, is a small site on the lesser curvature where there is a maximum convexity okay maximum convexity that is called incisura angularis if we make an imaginary line from the incisura angularis to the greater curvature that imaginary line divide or separates the pylorus from the body of the stomach okay area though this represents the uh, i mean our uh, the line from the incisor angularis this the area below this imagine line is the pylorus of the stomach okay here come the pylorus again pylorus again divide into pyloric canal and pyloric antra okay and the pylorus of the stomach at the pylorus we have there is a anatomical sphincter that is called pyloric sphincter okay this and continues as the duodenum okay now I told you that it has got two surfaces. This surface is antero superior surface, not anterior surface. Say antero superior surface, and there is the postero inferior surface. Antero superior surface and postero inferior surface. Okay, and you know the uh, relations, visceral relations. Already you know the uh, I mean uh, visceral anteriorly. Uh, I mean uh, the, it is related to the uh, body wall, then the diaphragm and the costal cartilage, cost intercostal spaces, all the things, and the structures forming the posterior relations. Okay, that is one of the stomach bed. you know the structures forming posterior relation is the stomach bed okay again the detail of this one is uploaded in the other video if you did not watch the video please go and watch the video okay so that is the anatomy of the stomach okay now let us see the interior of the stomach internal part of the stomach here again i am having the stomach okay so i have just cut open the stomach and you are seeing these foldings you know these foldings are known as the gastric rugae this mucosal foldings are known as the gastric rugae you can see these all are the gastric rugae gastric rugae okay and one thing is remember here also you can see all these gastric rugae are present but these gastric rugae are present so here again this is the lesser curvature of stomach okay just i am just opening here look see the gastric rugae are longitudinally placed on the lesser curvature of stomach okay if you see the lesser curvature this gastric rugae are longitudinal that it appears as longitudinal folds longitudinal folds so that is why the food materials or the i uh, mean uh, mean water or everything it mainly passes along the lesser curvature passes along the lesser curvature the content from the esophagus most of the cases normally passes along the lesser curvature that is why this particular mucosa of the or along the lesser curvature is continuously exposed when compared to the uh, other Uh, mucosa at the other part okay that is what the gastric ulcers are most common along the lesser curvature gastric ulcers are most common along the lesser curvature the reason is there is a um, longitudinal folds okay because of the longitudinal folds the the food materials mainly passes along the lesser curvature and the mucosa is continuously exposed to some sub sub substances that is why the gastric ulcers are more common along the lesser curvature lesser curvature then you know about the gastrectomy gastrectomy is a surgical removal of the stomach that is known as the gastrectomy and you should remember when we do the gastrectomy you should remember some of the points you know the gastro splenic ligament there is gastro splenic ligament from the greater curvature of stomach okay so here is the anatomical position so here in this area we have the spleen here is a diaphragm okay here we have the ligament that is called gastro splenic ligament from the stomach to the spleen okay so when we incise the gastro in uh, stomach uh, splenic ligament remember inside the gastro splenic ligament there is short gastric vessels are there short gastric vessels are there okay and inside the leno renal ligament from the spleen to the kidney okay there is another ligament called leno renal ligament inside the leno renal ligament there is tail of the pancreas and remember the uh, pancreas i mean uh, splenic vessels are present in splenic artery and vein is present in the leno renal ligament okay remember this point then another point is called gastrostomy what is gastrostomy gastrostomy like just like the tracheostomy okay making incision in the organ also here actually gastrostomy it is a surgical procedure used to um, put the food pipe okay if a patient patient is suffering from any esophageal constriction or something like 
problem with the swallowing ok so a food pipe is inserted into the fundus or stomach ok so here there is over the surface of the body there is a triangle that is known as a gastric triangle gastric triangle again detail of this gastric triangle is already uploaded in the other video please go and watch the video ok so remember the gastrectomy is a surgical removal of the stomach and gastrostomy gastrostomy is an incision is given for the food pipe food pipe ok so that is the applied anatomy ok hope you understood the video and uh, if you like the videos please subscribe my channel and please share it with your friends thank you